My name is Alia Dimaporo and I am from Lano del Norte. I consider myself or I describe myself as an agri-venturist. I venture into agriculture for all different reasons and um, but mainly founded on the principles of agroecology and bamboo fits right into that. The reason why I came to the bamboo boot camp is because I personally I do have a farm and I would like to propagate more bamboo in my farm. Specifically my farm is a housing a number of native species but it's not complete and I would like to have maybe a several species of bamboo in my farm just as sort of like um, an inventory of what we have in the Philippines. Um, and, and the other reason why I came here is to learn more about how to learn more about bamboo in order to convince government officials to get into the get 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 to to get into growing bamboo or or using bamboo as an industry that could help their own communities my expectation was to learn more on the technical side so basically the last four days of this um, boot camp is what I had expected um, but that's also based on my knowledge of how bamboo U would be like um, and what I didn't expect though was to have a more holistic view of bamboo the role of bamboo in in agroecology of the Philippines, the role of bamboo in a community, and also the history of how Filipinos in general have used bamboo throughout our culture. So I didn't expect that. And I'm glad that was there because I, although I do have prior knowledge about it, the people I was with, they, uh, the people that I, I am with, they, they don't. So um, I'm really hopeful that they'll be able to properly advocate bamboo in their own language and in their own communities. We have, you know, uh, different sets of communities and we can spread it faster in Lano del Norte. My favorite's the first one. Um, when, I, when I saw that we would be, when I saw the, the, your specific sentence that said, um, appreciating bamboo, bamboo appreciating, pre bamboo appreciation from shoots to structure. I was excited about the shoots because that's what I'd like to do in my farm in general. You know, I'm, I'm not planning. I, I don't really want to cut anything in my farm, but I just kind of want to have samples there. You know, samples of what is native to the Philippines. So. Um, yeah, but now I'm even more excited to have a nursery or to now I'm now I've had I have the idea to have the nursery. I didn't have an idea to have a nursery at all. I thought I could just come here, learn about propagation and ask you, can you can you point me to some suppliers where I could buy some seedlings or, you know, I didn't even know that you could I could propagate them on my own. Um, and I got more information than I had hoped. You know, I actually have the number of Mamirna now and you because of you guys we we've met Sir Ed and he's so open to have us in his in his sanctuary so um, now I'm really adamant to have my own nursery I don't think that's something that the government would be interested to have or that Mayor Mamai would be interested to have he's more interested on in the money side of things and I mean that's what catches the government officials in general but um, but I think that I would like to build a small-scale nursery so that if we are able to convince them to have a nursery for themselves it's something that could be scalable can build something bigger for them hmm what stood out the most to me it's overwhelming I don't really um, there's a lot of information in nine days that um, I've actually already wrote. I have an accomplishment report <laughs> and I have my own outline pending, of course, the, you know, some código, which is the slides that we'll, you'll be sharing for with us. But um, I think the, the, 
The one thing that I was most excited about was seeing the pictures of the things we're building. Like, wow, we're going to be able to learn these techniques of how to curve bamboo and 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 everything that it takes to make some to make bamboo look this beautiful. Um, for me, yeah, that that stands out to me the most. Just the photos. I would say be part of the movement that can make the Philippines a better country for us to live in and ha and be able to make beautiful things for ourselves and for others. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth it. I actually didn't I was I, the the price didn't intimidate me at all. Like I felt that I mean, I I knew that it would be worth it. Um, if you divide 10 10 days with you know the, the the cost with 10 days plus the lodging plus all the people who are involved in it and you know I knew that there would be materials involved as well and I I didn't know how close bamboo would be he, near here but I knew how it's difficult to transport bamboo and I knew we'd be using bamboo as building material so in fact I I actually thought you know that's it's a good deal your price is a good deal. And now that I'm going through this on the ninth day, I'm thinking you guys are probably underpaid, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, a, that's how I feel.